there for a sec. Yeah. But I kind of feel sorry for it. It's not like they asked to be put in here. Emil, you are a mystery. Though you're afraid of monsters, you still seem to sympathize with them quite readily. I know I sound like a wimp, but I just don't like fighting and all that. No, not at all. That's part of what I like about you. By the way, something has been bothering me. What is it? I believe we may have been tricked. What do you mean? The owner of Flanor's accessory shop assisted us on the journey of world regeneration. He was not the old man we met today. You mean he's a fake? Then Glacius' core is... I'm quite sure someone from the accessory shop took Glacius' core as witnessed by Rain and Genus. However, whether they are bringing it back here is another matter. But why lie to us about it? Perhaps they're after your Ratatosk's core, Lady Marta. If you're right, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Yes. Let's hurry. Marta! Marta, I'm sorry. Daddy? Daddy? Marta, your father's here? In this place? Marta, come here. I want to apologize. Really? You'll hear me out? Marta, hold on! Something's not right! Marta! Marta! Are you okay? We'll have to break it down. Wait, behind you! The Vanguard! You're after Ratatosk's core. We have no use for you! Die! Ratatosk's core is removed from her. You two stand back. Oh, okay. Wow. Why don't you utilize that destructive power in battle? 
I swore that I would never again use my hands as tools of death. Never again? You mean... Long ago, the woman that I loved died by my own hands. <sighs> Scorn me if you wish, but right now we have to save Marta. I can't imagine you ever doing something like that. There must have been a good reason behind what you did. And even if you did kill someone, I've harmed countless people under the guise of protecting myself as well. Emil. killed the one he loved with his own hands. I wonder how it happened. If I end up fighting Richter, will I be able to when the time comes? Wait, I mean, I'm not in love with Richter or anything. I mean, it's not like that. Um, not that I don't like him or anything. Actually, I like him a lot, but... <sighs> I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Emil, is something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. Huh? you to see this, but I guess I have no choice. I won't let you get in Master Richter's way! Simon, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
You bastard! How could you? How could you do that to Marta? Damn it! If I was more powerful, I could have stopped this! If I was always me, I never would have let this happen! You should take a good look at her before you start crying. That voice. Sheena Fujibayashi, at your service. And Marta Lualdi, the lovely beauty who rose from the dead. Marta. Marta! Thank goodness you're safe. I'm sorry for making you go through that, Emil. Then what is that body? It's an Igaguri ninja technique. Pretty good, huh? But not as good as Grandpa. Thank you for helping us, Sheena. But tell me, what brings you to the Temple of Ice? I came to rescue the kidnapped citizens of Flanor and thought I'd give you a hand. Kidnapped? What do you mean, ma'am? You know Flanor was attacked, right? Oh, yes. During the attack, the Vanguard kidnapped the family that runs the accessory shop and I tracked them down here. So then, they were imposters after all. What do you mean? It appears the kidnapping was all part of an even bigger ruse to lure us here. Perhaps we should continue this discussion elsewhere. It would be dangerous for us to stay here too long. Wh what the heck is this thing? I am Tenebrae, enchanted, I'm sure. Oh, uh, okay. Well, whatever you are, I suppose you're right. Uh, we should get going. That guy from before might realize the core he has is a fake, and I don't think we want to stay around for that. Let's see, it's a meal, right? Yes. I feel like I've met you somewhere before. Maybe it's just my imagination. I'm sorry. I don't think I remember meeting you. Oh yeah? That's so strange. Your face looks very familiar. Speaking of familiar faces, that Richter guy, I've seen him before too. Really? Yes, I've definitely seen him somewhere. You don't think I'd forget someone dumb enough to fall for the oldest trick in the book. I apologize for this. No, not at all. Let's go find her. Right. She saved Marta's life after all. How should we proceed? Follow her down the pit ourselves? We lack the proper equipment to safely descend from here. Why don't we first try to find a path that might lead to the bottom of the pit? Good idea. Let's look for another way.
Thanks, Emil. For before. About what? When you thought I'd been killed, you got really furious. I half expected you to be relieved that this annoying girl was finally out of your hair. I'd never think anything like that. When I saw you get stabbed... All I could think about was how I never told you how I felt. What? I want you to forget everything I said earlier about you telling me who I'm supposed to be. I don't really think that. Wait, do you mean that you... No, not that. It's just I... I know I'm not the person you think I am, but... No, you're wrong. Sure, when we first started out together, I had it in my head that you were this all-powerful Prince Charming. But after a while, I realized you're actually scared of a lot of things. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm so pathetic. But that timid Emil is the one fighting for me with everything he's got, even though he never asked to get wrapped up in all this in the first place. It touches my heart far more than a hero who fights without fear. What? I think that the real you is much, much cooler than the fantasy I had in my mind. I'm glad to see the two of you so happy. <laughs> After all that, don't you have anything to say to Marta? Uh, um... It's okay. I'm going to go on loving you regardless of how you feel. You don't have to say anything. Well, let's keep moving. I hope Sheen is all right. Right.